Hey Library Pals, Martina here. Last time I did a tutorial about how to open the virtual program at your library. One of my librarian friends called and said, hey, we've got the intro, what about the outro? We've done the open, how about the close? So sit tight, grab a paper and a pencil. That's what we're going to cover today, how to close the virtual program at your library. And why should we work on the closing for the program? There's a couple of people who have already clicked, finished, and they're out. It's for everyone else. You see, every time that you're in front of your virtual audience with a library, it's your opportunity to connect with them and to engage with them and to bring them back for more virtual programming with your library. It's not just for your polished professionalism, I think the fastest way for me to lay out a good close for you is to show you this little clip that I did for a library association meeting. Here it is. The presenter's all done and you close. How? One way with the goal to connect and engage. No worries, I've got a formula for that too. Now, here's an example. Here's a close for you. <clears throat> that was a terrific presentation about genealogy. I especially thought the section about the Civil War was totally amazing. Sarah, thank you for all you did for us. That was just terrific. The recording of this presentation is available to you all for four weeks. Now, next week I want you to join us again for a presentation about making a year's worth of spaghetti sauce. That'll be so interesting and super convenient to have. If there's anyone you know that loves being in the kitchen, let them know and invite them to join you and us online next Thursday at 7 o'clock. We've got more programs coming. Be sure to skim the emails you see from the library. What did I do there? It was about 101 words and about 35 seconds. And that was a formula too. Yes, I've got that in your PDF, no worries. Remember, I don't want you to read my script. Yours will be better. The point is to have a guideline, to have goals, and make it your own and in your own way. So, one, comment about the program in a positive way. Thank the presenter by name. Announce the next program coming up tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever. Comment personally about it. Request they invite someone. This is so fun to hear about and it's happening more and more. My brother loves this stuff and I invited him to watch with me. I love when I hear that. You have to tell them to do it, to invite someone. Instruct them on what to do to connect with future programs. Mention how long the recording will be available for them and express personal interest in them. Again, add, subtract, switch. The only thing that matters is you're prepared and purposeful. Okay, your program was professional and prepared. You intro and closed it with purpose and intent to connect and engage. And there's your close. You've done the Q&A with the audience and now you've got a professional close. You write the lines because your lines will bring out your genuine, authentic self. Next up, nerves. How to get those butterflies to fly in formation. Click subscribe below, that's the next video coming up. And feel free to email me if you have any questions at all about virtual programming or you'd like me to do a training session with your library. Till next time.